Hi, so uh, now I'm going to show off my piston screen that I built earlier in this video. Um, this is the basic concept. Where you, this is the uh, each pixel is two by two because you can't have just a one by one pixel. You can, but you have to spread them out like this, um, where they can't touch each other. So you might as well just make it a two by two pixel. Um, and if someone's been able to do that, I, I haven't seen it yet. Um, and the reason that they're like this is, well, there's a two-tick response time for this, which isn't bad. This is the only way to do this without interference. And it's tileable in every direction. And then there's the memory. This uses a D-latch, which is uh, two by two um, and seven blocks long. And I've added the the latch itself is only six, and I've added the seventh block here. And this allows the clock signal to cascade up to the top, creating a vertical register. So I can press this button, and the clock will cascade up. The problem with this, as you can see, when I press this, it resets them all to zero because there's a zero in the input, and then some stuff flickers around, and we get these random values output. That's a problem because there, there's nothing stored in the input. Uh, the input's all zeros, so it should be all zeros. Um, so I figured the problem is the north-south quirk. So this one here is on the east-west axis. It's slower, but it works. So this is the design that I'm forced to use. And so I've uh, stacked 16 of them here. So we have a 16 by 16 screen. It's 256 pixels. Um, and I've attached these to the output. So this is our screen here. Um, keep in mind that these are 2 by 2 pixels. So a pixel looks like that when it's extended. And um, I could probably use white wool or stone, and this would be a little easier to see. I'm not sure. And then down here is the uh, clock decoder. Right now I have it as a constant input just for testing purposes. Um, but normally this would be a pulse, and uh, that tells it which register to plug into. And so right now the first register is selected. Um, however, if I flip this, it's going to select the seventh register, um, I believe. Yeah, that's the zeroth one. This is the seventh register. is now selected because I've turned on the most significant bit. It's a four-bit decoder here. Yeah, I could this just tells the value to head right or left. Um, and then what these are here, these are the actual inputs from the computer. And the computer's OS will write values into here according to uh, which pixels need to be turned on based on the instruction. So if I turn these three on, normally you'd, the computer would pulse the clock and that would update the screen, but since the clock is constant, it should already be updated. And it's got a relatively quick response time. It's um, seven or eight ticks, I think. Um, so less than a second, which isn't too bad. And by the time we get around to the other side, it's already off. And so this is what I'm going to use in my next computer. Um, I'm going to build a vertical computer instead of a sprawled out horizontal one. And so this is the screen I'm going to use. So I just wanted to show this off, and if you want a tutorial, um, I can provide one. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Bye.